Hey everyone, this is Abhinendra from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial. It's about how to create render passes or we can say in Arnold AOVs and get composited in After Effects. So let's start. I have a very simple scene over here. Like these are marble pieces. I just uh, use this project for my new just test marvel shaders so there's a very basic scene nothing nothing much like marvels there's a camera there's a ground an hdri and my look development setup so why we take render passes because it provides a way to render any shading component into different images like uh, it is very convenient to separate different passes and compose it in After Effects or whatever software you, you are using for compositing. In our node, we say AOVs, like arbitrary output variables. So in this scene, if I render, if I hit render. I'm just having a single beauty layer so when I take it to the compositing I cannot do much with this image because it has all these things like direct light, indirect light, diffuse, uh, indirect specular, direct specular and whatever the passes I'm using like whatever component I'm using like in this case it's a marvel so I'm using triple shader also so that I can get the feel of marble so how we are gonna add those passes right let's stop it and click over here in render settings okay there is a tab called aovs here in the aov browser here you can see all the passes okay so whatever the passes you are needing for the scene you can add those like in my case i am i'm going to use direct diffuse for direct light indirect diffuse for bounce light and all direct specular and indirect specular and triple s okay and one more z that pass so it's already selected but make sure whenever you are selecting your passes and if you are going to render in exr you have to merge those layers so click on this icon here and select driver and click always click on this merge aovs so it will combine all your render passes in single image so if i handle so if i hit render again now i have all the passes like z pass you can see over here uh, minus 7 maybe so you can set, see the depth I have direct diffuse I have indirect diffuse I have a specular pass I have a specular indirect and I was saying like I used a triple S to get the right look and feel for marble so let's complete the render and take it to the After Effects. So my render is done now and uh, this is the After Effects. Now I have to import my render. So let's paste the location and import it. This is the render I have. Let's make a comp. Okay. It's a single layer okay now what I have to do is it's a single layer now what I have to do is extract all the different layer passes for what I have created in Arnold okay so let's let's rename it first like I always say you have to rename everything so that it will make your life easy Marvel setup. 
from two. So let's pre-compose it so that I can have a, everything in my beauty layer. So I, what I will rename it is uh, Marvel Beauty. It's in a different comp now. So now I can extract. Let's rename it to beauty. Duplicate it and switch it off. In effects, in 3D channel, click on extractor. Okay. So when you just apply con extractor on your render layer what it does is it takes out the gamma correction node okay so that we can easily tweak the color correction and all okay so just click over here and you will get this tab and select whichever layer you want to use first i'm going to take tag diffuse so see you can see that i have not direct diffuse so let's rename it to DD, duplicate, diffuse indirect, direct. Let's take out all the passes very quick. So now I have extracted all the passes and let's see what my beauty looks like. My beauty is this, so I need to see all these passes like this. So select all the passes and select mode add okay so but it, it's not looking like what my beauty was so let's stay make a, another adjustment layer call it gamma and here in color correction Add this exposure node and here we have a gamma node and our by default gamma is 2.2 2.2 2. so now it's looking like my beauty so that's how you can extract all the passes okay and what I else use is Z depth pass okay let me show you how to use that also so let's go to the main comp and here we'll import our pass this merged layer again and again we will put <coughs> sorry uh, extractor um, extractor and now we will choose z pass correct i got that just off it and Add a new adjustment layer in which we will add an effect of depth of field. DOF. I am using FL depth of field. Let's double click on that. Choose the depth layer, which is this layer. Let's rename it. So I selected that and here we can choose where we want to have a fit. where we want a depth. Sorry for the noise because it's Diwali here, it's a festival season in India. So just increase the blur amount. And now we can place. So when we click it, we can place wherever we we need a focus. So I want focus over here. Let's increase the depth. And sometimes it doesn't work the expected way. So if you want a good result, then you have to pre-comb this depth layer also. So it will not give you any bendings and all so control shift c move all attributes and depth 
correct. So almost almost done here, and one more thing, we have rendered this uh, these passes in 32-bit image. So please change in your After Effects this setting. It's 8-bit. So click Alt and click. It's 16-bit now, and click again with pressing alt it will it will be in a 32 bit comp okay so it's almost done here so later what else i use this chromatic aberration which you can see here this effect this kind of this chromatic aberration i used and this is magic bullet looks which i used okay so this was my final image ah it was a very quick tutorial i didn't mention all the details in this but definitely when in future i am going to create a brief tutorial a detailed tutorial then definitely i will share everything every detail uh, of whatever i am teaching you so i hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, if you like please do share and subscribe my channel thank you so much